Love is never equal. I learned that early at home. Someone always loves more than the other. And ends will always come. So you might as well have beginnings. Love is never equal after all. Love is never equal. The love between two people. Someone always gets the shorter straw. Love can be so tender, but you always must remember. Love is never equal after all. Last year I had someone worshipped at my feet he gave me everything i want but it did not interest me and now i'm standing naked like one of those bad dreams where everyone has clothes on except for me oh love is never equal the love between two Love can be so tender, but you always must remember Love is never equal after all Love is never equal <laughs> We're sort of making this up as we go along <laughs> I was cleaning out my file cabinet, um, and I went through all of these notes that I'd made like 16 years ago, I think. And at the time, my mother and I were having these conversations, and what she was saying was so incredible and crazy, and then later I would think, oh, she didn't say that. That was wrong, and then I would talk myself out of it. So I got in the habit of just sort of writing down our conversations as we were having them. And, <laughs> and I would just keep notes my mother would call and I just grab my legal pad anyway um, and so I found this and I thought you might enjoy it so she said and this is like 16 years ago she says um first she starts with how was your memorial day which I think that's a loaded question and a trick question <laughs> I said I don't know you know good and she said well I forgot about it completely we were babysitting Nick Nick my nephew, who was three years old at the time. And I was in the basement cleaning out our storage locker, they lived in a condo then, because I refused to pay $25 a month for rent on a storage locker. And it suddenly occurred to me that it's Memorial Day, so I ran upstairs to the condo where your father, Julie, your father, spends more time doing absolutely nothing than any other person on this <laughs> earth. And I said, oh really, because he just sent me this four page letter about James Thurber's Thurber Carnival and how much he admired it. It seemed like it took a while to write that letter. She said, well, you have your own definition of something. She said, all I see is a man with his nose stuck in a book 24 hours a day who refuses to be a participant in life. Yesterday, I begged him to go downtown to the sing-along and he simply refused to go. You know, Julie, what I've learned about your father after being married to him for 35 years? I don't like his personality. I don't like any part of it. <laughs> but wow, I think that would really be hard to live with somebody where you don't like their personality. Any part of it. It is a nightmare. And now I have to whisper because your father sat down right next to me. <laughs> So I said to your father, we are spending only $15 on the graves, not a penny more. When your father does the graves on Memorial Day, he gives them roses. Roses, I don't get the luxury of roses and I'm alive. <laughs> I say we put two carnations on each grave and go out to lunch. <laughs> Julie, please know that when I'm dead, I don't expect anything better than carnations on my grave. Me saying, Mom, that is a relief, but you know what? I don't think you'll care because you'll be dead. <laughs> exactly, that's what I said to your father, and he walked away. 
at the cemetery. And I said, he walked away, and he said, well, because Nick got sick and threw up on Henrietta's headstone, which your father insisted on cleaning up. But I said, leave it, it will decompose, and besides, she's dead. I said, well, I think I can understand that, because, you know, that's his mother, and I think... <laughs> If someone throws up on your mother's headstone, you probably feel a need to clean it. Well, you and your father can get together on that subject. Because I am more modern than that. Live life now! Love is never equal The love between two people Treated. 